Good morning, Gators. Today is Thursday, May 12, 2022. Stop and stand with a land acknowledgement, national anthem, prayer, and announcements. We begin by acknowledging the land and our responsibility to care for and respect all that creation gives to provide us with life. This land upon which we live, work, and sustain ourselves is the ancestral and treaty lands of the Michisaugic and Ashtabek, also known today as the Mississaugas of the Credit, the rightful caretakers and title holders of this land. We also recognize that this land is rich in pre-contact history and relationships, which includes the Anishinaabek and Ongohongwe, and since European contact has and continues to become home for Indigenous and non-Indigenous peoples. As a responsible community, we believe all people are sacred and possess inherent and immeasurable worth and dignity. Colonialism displaced and dispossessed Indigenous peoples of their ancestral lands and continues to deny their basic human rights, dignities, and freedoms. We are committed to the sacrament of reconciliation, making reparations and fulfilling our treaty obligations, duties, and responsibilities as outlined in the Godot Naganana Dish with One Spoon Wampum. This treaty governs and affirms that we actively maintain mutually beneficial relationships and collectively respect and care for the land, water, animals, and each other in order to guarantee a good life for our future descendants. Good morning, Gators. Tomorrow, Friday, May 13, is an especially important memorial feast day in the Catholic Church. It is dedicated to Our Lady of Fatima. This special honor was given to the Blessed Virgin after she appeared to three shepherd children in Fatima, Portugal, between May 13 and October 13, 1917. Three messages of Fatima to the children stress the importance of repentance, conversion of heart and dedication to Our Lady, most especially through the praying of the Holy Rosary. Please join me in morning prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Loving God, O God of infinite goodness and mercy, fill our hearts with a great confidence in your dear Mother, whom we invoke under the title and honor of Our Lady of Fatima. Grant us by her powerful intercession all the graces we receive in your name, and may the Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, in which appeared to the children of Fatima, inspire in our hearts a love and dedication to the Most Holy Rosary. By meditating upon the mysteries of the Rosary, may we obtain the graces and virtues that we ask through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Redeemer, and we ask all of this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now together, let us pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Andre Bessette, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This announcement goes to the students taking co-op next fall and hoping to have their co-op experience at Trillium Hospital. Application deadline is coming up and must be filled out before May 19th. You can come down to the co-op office in room 244 or stop Mr. Maraca in the halls to pick up these forms. Attention all grade 12 students. If you are learning online or have a spare during period one, or are in grade 11, 12 split class during period one, please contact or see Mr. Minardi for a retreat permission form. All forms are due no later than Friday, May 27th. Your retreat date is scheduled for Tuesday, June 7th. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact Mr. Minardi. Thank you. Dance club will take place in the drama room after school. See you there. And this is a reminder that applications for valedictorian candidates are due on May 13th uh, uh, by 2.20 p.m. Please be sure that you email your completed application to fmgvaledictoriancommittee at gmail.com by the due date and time. That's fmgvaledictoriancommittee at gmail.com. That, okay. There's one more couple of more announcements this morning. A couple of more announcements this morning. So on behalf of student council, myself and Mr. Adamson and the committee uh, and the council, sorry, um, we had two great applicants for student senate and I just want to announce the winner of our election yesterday. <laughs> Congratulations to Lance Del Pilar as your next student senate. Congratulations, Lance. We look forward to working with you and having you represent Father Michael Gates at the board level. Thanks so much. Hi, I just want to take this opportunity, <clears throat> excuse me, to congratulate Emma Egley and Noah Melmer on their victory in the mixed doubles tennis uh, on Monday. 
If you see them in the halls, make sure to congratulate them and wish them luck as they head to OFSA next week. Go Gators! That's it for today's announcement, skaters. Have a great day.